But I want to preach to you something that I believe, if you allow it, it will change your life. I wish you were some more members here. I'm looking for some people. So I really need this, uh, I really need this word video today because I believe this is a ch life changing. Anybody need a life changing message? Yeah. Find your Bible or find your friend. Do me a favor, give me a like that Bible right there. See more. Find your Bible, find your friend. I want you to hear this. I want you to really, 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 really hear this. I'm going to read it in the Life Application Bible first. It is because we... Wait, did I tell y'all what, what, what verse? Oh, stop. I did stay with 11 first. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Now, now, wait, wait, now. Listen, I'm going to read a Bible that you can understand first time. Then I'm going to read the King James Version. So it's not going to read the same way as your King James or New King James Version Bible. So look at me the first time. Look at me, because you ain't going to be able to read it. I promise you. It is because we know this solemn fear of the Lord that we work so hard to persuade others. God knows we are sincere. And I hope you know this too. Are we trying to pat ourselves on the back again? No. We are giving you reason to be proud of us. So you can answer those who brag about having a spectacular ministry rather than having a sincere heart before God. If it seems that we are crazy, it is to bring glory to God. And if we are in our right minds, it is for your benefit. Whatever we do, it is because Christ's love controls us. Since we have that Christ died for everyone, we also believe that we have all died to the old life we used to live. Amen. He died for everyone so that those who receive his new life will no longer live to please themselves. Instead, they will live to please Christ who died and was raised for them. So we have stopped evaluating others by what the world thinks about them. Once I mistakenly thought of Christ that way, as though he were merely a human, how different I think about him now. What this means is that those who become Christians become new persons, that they are not the same anymore. For the old life is gone and a new one has begun. All of this newness of life is from God who brought us back to himself through what Christ did. And God has given us the task of reconciling people to him. Now, you heard that. Shut that up. And we're going to break it down in the King James Version. All right. Verse 11 again. Now you can read. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto God. And I trust also our made manifest in your conscience. Let me stop right there. Knowing therefore this text it is talking to the it's, it's the words of the priest it's the words of the apostles it's the words of me 
and is the words of some of you. We know the terror of the Lord. Anybody know what will happen if you don't get your life right? We know what can happen to someone that is a sinner if God decides to come back today. We know how terrible it life would be in hell. We understand that hell ain't a place for nobody. I don't know nobody that won't go to hell. Nobody. Nobody. I, I said, I don't. I don't know about you. Maybe you know somebody that want to visit hell. There was a lady named Mary Kay Baxter. I think that's what her name was. Mary Baxter or something. She wrote a book about visiting hell. What the, uh, the revelation yeah, it is some divine revelation about visiting hell. I read a few pages of that book. And from that few sentences, I decided right then, hell ain't the place for me. I mean, so some of y'all like hot. I don't like that hot. Amen. Amen. And we already understand what God has said about sinners. How he has told us in his word that I'm going to say, depart from me, ye worker of iniquity, for I did not know who you are. Then he said. So we understand what has happened to our family members, our brothers, our sisters, our children, if they don't get their life right. Amen. I wish I could have somebody to Amen. talk to me. We already understand what's going to happen and this is why we try our very best to persuade men to Christ. Amen. See, it's almost like if there's no punishment, why not do it? Right. Right now. If you couldn't get in trouble for breaking in the jewelry store, Everybody be breaking in Jews. That's right, man.